Hello everyone. Welcome to this video on contrast stretching. So contrast stretching is a technique used to enhance the visual quality of an image by adjusting its intensity levels. When an image undergoes contrast stretching, it or we get a more visually appealing image with enhanced contrast and improved visibility details. Now why do we need to contrast stretch the image? It will correct the non-uniform lighting conditions and improve the visibility of the features in an image. And also by applying contrast stretching, we can expand the dynamic range of the image and make it more visually appealing. Now let us look into the transformation function for contrast stretching. The transformation function is given as S equal to T of R. Now here R is the intensity level of the input pixel and S is the intensity level of the output pixel after transformation. T is the transformation function used here. Now, uh, if you look into this image, these points R1 and S1 and R2 and S2, this T, these are T of R, it will, it will control the shape of the transformation function. R1, S1 and R2, S2 control the uh, shape of the transformation function and the transformation function used for contrast stretching is given as, uh, represented as general formula as S equal to T of R. Now, let us consider three cases. First case, when R1 equal to S1 and R2 equal to S2. When R1 and S1 are equal as well as R2 and S2 is equal, it means that there is no change in the intensity level after transformation. The uh, Before transformation, it is R1, S1. After transformation, again it is R1, S1 and R2, S2. Uh, when R1 e is same as S1 and R2 is same as S2, there is no change in the intensity after transformation function uh, that is been applied. Here the transformation is a linear function that pr pr produces no change in the intensity. Now let, let us look into the second case. The second case is when R1 is equal to R2, that is R1 is same as R2 and S1 is 0 and S2 is L minus 1. If we look into the x axis and y axis, it ranges from 0 to L minus 1 and y axis also ranges from 0 to L minus 1. If we take a case when R1 is same as R2, you get a horizontal, uh, sorry, vertical line here and S1 is 0, that is uh, 0 intensity and S2 is L minus 1 intensity. Uh, so your general transformation function which was uh, given in blue color, that is R1, S1 and R2, S2 changes to what is shown in red color here. So what happens here is the transformation becomes uh, similar to a thresholding function and it creates a binary image because your lowest pixel will be pure white color highest pixel I mean, the black pixel will be in pure zero and white pixel will be in maximum 255 so thresholding function can be created with r1 comma s1 which is equal to m comma zero and r2 comma s2 equal to m comma l minus one where m is the mean intensity level in the image Applying this uh, case where R1 equal to R2 and S1 equal to 0, S2 equal to L minus 1 from the input image, you get a uh, binary image uh, which is given here uh, where the cursor is hovering. The next case is where R1, S1 equal to R minimum and 0. That is R1 equal to R minimum, S1 equal to 0 and R2 equal to R maximum and S2 equal to L minus 1. Here R minimum and R maximum denote the minimum and maximum intensity levels of the input image. The transformation result in a contrast stretching. The transformation stretched to the intensity levels linearly to the full intensity range that is 0 to L minus 1. So you get a contrast image from the input image whatever is given here. Applying this particular case of R1 equal to R minimum, S1 equal to 0 and R2 equal to R maximum and S2 equal to L minus 1, you get a contrast stretched image. Uh, we have discussed this particular case in the previous video. I can uh, give the link of the video in the description here, uh, wherein you are linearly stretching the images uh, between the range of 0 to L minus 1, that is 0 to 255. Uh, considering the R minimum in the input image as well as the R maximum in the input image to get a contrast stretched image. So this is the contrast stretched image you get after uh, applying this particular case uh, wherein R minimum and R maximum denote the minimum and maximum intensity levels of the input image. 
Now, in contrast stretching, there are few limitations. Uh, so, few of the limitations are given here. Loss of information if the intensity levels are stretched very far, too far. Uh, this may not always produce the desired result and may require fine-tuning fine to achieve the best results. Yeah, that's all for today's uh, tutorial. I hope you found this useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials on image processing. Thank you for watching.